Hi everyone, hope you all are doing great. And today we are going to discuss another important case law of environmental law. The name of the case is Shubash Kumar v. State of Bihar, AIR 1991. So in this case, the petitioner is an influential businessman, filed a public interest litigation against two iron and steel companies, which the petitioner claimed had created health risks by dumping surplus waste from factory. The wastage was in the form of sludge and slurry into the Bukaru River. According to the petitioner, the sludge and slurry had been deposited on agricultural land which left a harmful carbonaceous product on the soil. The petitioner also alleged that the State Pollution Control Board had failed to take appropriate steps to prevent pollution and had even granted lease to individuals for the collection of slurry. The petitioner asked the court to take legal action against the companies under the Water Prevention and Control of Pollution Act 1974. In addition, the petitioner requested that the court permit him to collect sludge and slurry as interim relief. In response, the board said that it had adequately monitored the quality of effluents entering the river. The respondent companies also claimed that they had sufficiently adhered to the instructions of the board for preventing pollution caused from their operations. Patna High Court, where a full judge bench had found that the slurry was not of coal for the purpose of the regulatory provisions of the Mines and Minerals Act of 1957 and therefore not the property of the companies. The companies challenged the High Court's decision in the Supreme Court and the petitioner also challenged it in the Supreme Court through a PIL. The petitioner's contention was violation of fundamental rights under Article 21 of the Constitution of India. The Honorable Supreme Court dismissed the petition since the board has taken effective steps to prevent the discharge of sludge and slurry from the respondent company's washeries into the Bukaro River. The petition did not qualify as a PIL since it was filed by the petitioner based on his own interest in obtaining larger quantities of slurry from one of the respondent companies from which he had begun purchasing slurry for seven years prior to this instant PIL. Hope you got an idea about the case law. Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.